you are listening to Adam. This is Atlantico FM and this is Right Time Radio. We have got a fantastic show for you this week. We are listening to a band all the way from California. A little bit more about them later in the show. We've also got some shout-outs for the riders, all the usual crazy stuff that we do on the show. And, of course, that all-important Spanish phrase of the week. He's a bit of Iron Maiden with Prowler. a blast from the past, isn't it, right? Because that was the very first Iron Maiden track from the very first Iron Maiden album. The song was Prowler, and that was Danny Diario on vocals. Now, that, now, he's a guy who wished he'd stuck around a little bit longer, believe me, because Bruce Dickinson took over from him, and the band skyrocketed to, to stardom. I mean... Those guys, they're still at it. They still produce some fantastic music. Bruce Dickinson left and then he came back and they did some more. And look, it's all good. It's all good. And they're a great band. Everybody loves a bit of Iron Maiden. So, Eulogy Eulogy of the Lost. I hope I've got that right. Eulogy of the Lost. I think it's Eulogy of the Lost from CA, yeah? They've sent me uh, three tracks over. Now, this was at the end of last year. I've just got round, really, to start looking at reviewing music and that again. The first track really stood out to me, which is why I've put them on the show. I actually like the music. The second track, which I had a choice of two, it isn't all what I I kind of listen to. It's not kind of heavy enough for me there, but listen, we're never going to like everything. I've got the two tracks 
I think the band's great. I think the mixes are clean and whatnot. We're going to miss, listen to them right after a bit of Molly Crew. <laughs> get ready this is past the torch and this is eulogy of the lost let's get it I thought that track was great. I really liked it. When it came over on email, it was what made me really listen and take a look. It was a little bit disappointing that there isn't enough information about the band available on the web. You can find a Facebook page. I think this is the bassist and the and the lead vocalist page. Um, I think that's Kick Greg Lebon, I think the name is. But if you actually Google the band's name, which is Eulogy of the Lost, 
you'll find that page, you'll find a little bit more information. The band did seem to be very busy towards the end of last year with live gigs, and they do look like they have a lot of fun on stage, so it's probably worth going and check them out if you're in the area. Thanks very much, guys, for sending the music over. I've got a little bit more coming up on you guys a little bit later in the show. <laughs> A bit of ZZ Top, 18 Legs, fantastic band. They kind of reminded me of that kind of rocky guitar, American-y hard cock rock sound that Eulogy of the Lost had on that last track. That's why I picked them out and put them on. But listen, anyway, moving on, right? we got some great new things happening at Easy Rider Tenerife. We've just released our clothing range. So if you are into biker apparel, um, you know, decent T-shirts, nice designs, um, big sizes, because that's important, especially when you're <laughs> getting on a bit like me and you've been a biker all your life. We tend to hold a little bit more around the midsection. But that's not a problem, because Easy Rider Tenerife Merch.com has now got your sizes in, OK? So take a look. You'll find some great stuff on there, and there's some limited edition shirts wow. coming out real soon. You never leave.
So remember that, easyridertenerifemerch.com. That is where you will find the clothing range that we have just released. Some really cool designs. I'm really pleased with the designers, what they've done for us. And we've got some great merch on the site. So you will all, while it all up, let me just get my words out, you will also find your Ride Time Radio shirts. Because this, of course, is Ride Time Radio. You're listening to Adam. I'm the head honcho at Easy Rider Tenerife. We are Tenerife's number one motorcycle rental company specialising in Harley-Davidson, Motor Guzzi, Ducati, Triumph, oh, Royal Enfield. What else is there? we got everything. Just get yourself down if you fancy a break. <laughs> If you're looking for something to do on the weekend, or even maybe one night in the week, fancy a change, fancy a break, and you don't fancy cooking, which can often happen, yeah? Get yourself down to El Medino, CC Tahina Shopping Centre, and you will find Rock and Hops. Rock and Hops are the sponsors of our show, and I'm very proud to have them on our sponsorship board. They are specialists in craft beer from all over the world. They also do their mountain burgers because you got to climb them before you can eat them.
Robert Palmer there. Bad case of loving you. Now then, if you're looking for a bike ride, okay, on the 4th of February, we will be having the first bike meet of the year. Now, this is open to anybody, okay? You don't need to have a certain size motorcycle. You don't need to have been riding bikes for a certain amount of time. We have youngsters joining us on 125s. We have old people joining us and there's also some people just come to have a look but look everybody is welcome and that's what we're trying to get at we are not a club of any sort we are just a bunch of enthusiasts who love motorcycles and are open to everybody to come and join our passion if you're in the area and you're down in the south of Tenerife, then on the tf28 on the way into lakamaya just past cheopa there is a sepsa garage there on the right-hand side. We will be meeting there on the 4th of February at 10 a.m. Everybody's welcome. Even if you just want to come down and have a coffee and take a look around the bikes that will be there, please do come down and take a look. It's well worth it. There's some great bikes and some really good people. Anybody, can you name that guitar solo? Or can you name the guitarist? If you know who the guitarist is, then hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, tell me who played that guitar solo, and I will send you a T-shirt. How's about that then, right? That's fair enough, isn't it? Tell me who played that guitar solo. Hit me up on Instagram. Make sure you like the page. Make sure you follow us or or do the same with Facebook. You must like the page. Tell me who played that solo, and you will get yourself... A free T-shirt. Take a listen to this. This is the next track from the band Eulogy of the Lost, and this is Fear of the Edge. I will say, 
I don't, you know, particularly like that track so much, okay? Not as much as your first one. I thought your first track you sent me was really, really good. That one was okay for me. It's a little bit empty for the show. I like stuff to be a little bit more loud and, and, you know, hard and heavy. But listen, it was very, very well produced. And the composition of the actual song is, is good as well. I don't know who's doing the mixing, but hats off to you who it is, because you get a very, very nice, clean mix, lots of space in it, and I was impressed with the production of the music. I really was. Thanks very much, guys, for sending it over to me. I hope to hear you and see you more on Facebook. Thank you.
you're listening to, of course, the Scorpions. Loving you Sunday morning. Do you know what? It, it, you don't get bands like that, as far as I'm concerned, anymore. I mean, Scorpions are one of my most favourite rock bands. And every one of their tracks is just so full and brimming with great guitar work. It really is. I'm going to miss that band. I really am. They are actually still out touring where they were last year. I don't know where they're going to fix themselves this year. They did have White Snake with them last year, up until the time that uh, White Snake got wiped out, I think, with a COVID infection. So they teamed up with the girls Thunder Mother, which are a great uh, group of Swedish girls who look fantastic on the stage. I must admit, they look fantastic on the stage. So what we got up next, right? Well, we got some shout outs for the guys. So shout outs for our riders down at EasyRiderTenerife.com, of course. If you're looking for a bike, please go and visit us on the website, EasyRiderTenerife.com. You'll find our selection of retro, classic, and very, very special motorbikes. Now, who have we had out this week? Well, big shout out to Carl. Took out the Triumph Bobber that's available for rental. That's the Triumph Bobber 2020 edition. Carl, thank you very much for your business. Shout out for Carl, please. <laughs> also, next up, Ben, you took out the Ducati. You've had a great time on that Ducati. You actually extended the rental. If we can, have a big shout out for Ben, please. <laughs> and Eric, out on the 1200 Harley Davidson XL Sports Stand. That is a lovely bike, that is. If you're looking to have a Harley Davidson experience, then please get in touch with us at easyrider.tenerife.com. <laughs> Okay, next up. Now, remember that Ozzy Osbourne album that we checked out last week? Patient number nine. Well, this is Evil Shuffle. This is Zap Wild on guitar. Reminds me a little bit of an old Black Sabbath track in some ways. But see what you think.
Now then, let's have a look. I think it's time for Spanish Phrase of the Week. Right, OK, so I, I, look, I've got a Spanish phrase book, right? Now, the producers have given me this, and they've said, look, you will find your way round Spain with this. Just use the phrases in this book. No, I don't know if they're taking the piss or not. Where did you get this book from? I mean, I've dug out the next one that's on the list, right? Now, the next one, all right, everyone, bear with me. Right, let me get this right, all right? Feliz como una lobriz. Feliz como una lobriz. I mean, my accent, if you listen to that accent, right, I'm actually getting that accent, aren't I, right? Now, I'm going to do it one more time, right? Feliz como una lobriz. Now, apparently, that translates as happy as a word. Now, I've been living in Spain for 20 years, right? I've never had to use that phrase anywhere. I've never once had to say to somebody, I'm as happy as a word. So, I mean... Where's this? Where is this book from? Look, if you got any idea what that phrase is used for, can you please tell me? Because I don't want to be like down the petrol station or something, and your man in the petrol station gives me a nod, and I say, "Feliz, come on, a lot I mean, he might just poke me in the eye. You know, I don't really know. <laughs> That's it, everybody. We're just coming to the end of the show. Now, you might have thought you'd have got away without a motorhead track, but you would be very, very wrong because we are not going to be able to get away without playing at least one motorhead track on every show. I don't care what the producers say. We are having a motorhead track. I'd like to give a big thanks to Rock and Hops for sponsoring the show. If you want 
to get down to some craft beer and craft burgers. Get yourself down to shopping centre CC Tahina in Almedano. Another big thank you to Atlantico FM, who air the show now every Sunday at 8pm, going out across the islands. That's the Canary Islands, of course. And also a big shout-out to Easy Rider Tenerife and my team. A special thanks to the designers at the Easy Rider Tenerife merch.com. Thanks, guys. Done a fantastic job on that uh, clothing range. We're looking forward to more of that later in the year. OK, this is Ride Time Radio. You've been listening to Adam from Easy Rider Tenerife. Ride safe, and I'll speak next week. Yeah!